Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Well, I tell you what, it is summertime and you know it's summertime and you're looking at pictures of Roaring Springs. Plus, you have a chance to win passes to Roaring Springs. It is the annual Water Safety Word of the Day contest and it starts tonight at 10. And since I didn't start it last night, we're going to do two words of the day. So, I guess two words of the days into one day. That'll be tonight, so you have a chance of winning two passes a couple times tonight. So, you'll want to tune in tonight at 10 for the Word of the Day and we'll give you water safety tips for the next couple of weeks and I'll be reporting live from Roaring Springs, and uh, not this Friday, but next Friday, and we'll be giving you the grand prize, which is all kinds of great stuff, some uh, passes to the Wahoos and Roaring Springs, and they hang out at the cabanas, so uh, stay tuned for that. In the meantime, we're enjoying another hot summer day around the Treasure Valley, just a few high, thin clouds looking towards the Napa Water Tower there. We'll pan the skies to the south over I-84. Traffic today was running fairly smoothly, the high, thin, cirrus clouds drifting on through, dimming the sun at times, but still partly cloudy to most Mostly sunny as you move through the evening hours. All in all, not a lot of cloud cover, but certainly different from yesterday. And that helped to bring keep the temperature down maybe one degree or so. So what it looked like at the village at Meridian as we moved through the day. It was crystal clear this morning. Looking out over the Boise front here, those high clouds streaming on in from the south, and the temperature soaring right now at 97 degrees. Humidity still low at 12 percent. The breeze has come up now northwest at 10 miles an hour. The low humidity has been very very dry, but I think this number is going to go up here, and we're going to feel feel more humid during the day tomorrow to bring some cloud cover in and there's just a slight chance of showers and storms mostly from mountain locations. And speaking of the mountains, it has been crystal clear over McCall, but here are those high clouds showing up to the south. Payette Lake, we had 90 last hour. It's at 89 right now, low humidity. It's been an amazing uh, late spring and early summer in the West Central Mountains and some great news for the higher elevations uh, here. You see McCall, but Stanley and Sun Valley, uh, all these locations have been very very comfortable getting hot now at 90 but still it cools down a lot more quickly in the central mountains above 5,000 feet than it does in the Georgia Valley. Relief from the heat of course right along the Oregon and Washington coastlines although inland Roseburg at 91, 88 in Portland there's the 99 now in uh, Boise this number just popping in so that's the high for the day thus far so we may touch 100 close call there 94 in Spokane as well, 102 in Vegas, so not much of a change in temperature from Boise down to Vegas, the core of the heat right here, but there's some cloud cover down here that's keeping some of these numbers down, 97 in Reno right now. Heading to the uh, higher elevations for the weekend. I don't expect a lot of a change coming in. There's a slight chance, though, for thunderstorms tomorrow. I've actually a pretty decent chance, 20 to 30 percent tomorrow and Friday for Long Valley. Temperature still in the upper 80s, but much cooler near any storms that occur. But then near 90 Saturday and Sunday with less of a threat of showers and storms as we move through the weekend. And so not a bad weekend again for those higher elevations. But we're going to introduce that threat for a thunderstorm tomorrow and again on Friday. Some storms in extreme eastern Oregon around Burns and some storms popping up to 20,000 foot tops here. So some uh, showers and storms there. 100 Mountain Home, 89 McCall, 91 in Haley with that fire nearby. There's some isolated showers nearby. We do have a fire weather watch in effect for tomorrow afternoon because of gusty outflow winds, meaning thunderstorms form, the thunderstorms collapse and shoot wind out, and those winds can uh, really make fire conditions much more hazardous. Up into the Weezer River Basin here in the Owyhee Mountains, but not in the Treasure Valley. Red flag warning for the storms and lightning here as well to the west. So we'll keep an eye on that, and we're watching all that moisture. It's pinwheeling up from the south. You can see it right here. There's more moisture down to the south, and with high pressure sitting right over the four corners in the Great Basin, that's bringing moisture in. So here's a wave for tomorrow. Another one just to the south and west offshore could bring in a chance for some storms on Friday. So here it is tomorrow afternoon. Not a huge threat, but you see some green trying to pop up. That goes through Wednesday night. Then on Thursday, I think we'll get some sunshine. And then on Friday, another chance for some storms forming. So we'll keep a close eye on that. Start of a heat wave over the weekend with temperatures back up to 100 degrees. Now we'll be near 100 in Ontario tomorrow. 98 in Boise. A slight chance for a storm. Don't expect one, but don't be surprised if you see one. Just a lot more cloud cover tomorrow, especially during the morning and middle part of the day, and the hazy sunshine will develop. Upper 80s in the McCall area, mid 90s in Boise County. Still a better chance for storms here, and these storms could produce some brief heavy downpours, which would be very cooling and a little bit more comfortable. Continued sunny, but a chance for some storms later in the day around Stanley and Sun Valley, so it'll become part Partly cloudy. Uh, the Magic Valley tomorrow expect temperatures to be in the mid 90s. Still hot. A slight chance for a storm during the afternoon. Otherwise, just partly cloudy. And my on your side extended forecast here shows that the temperatures. I've got them below 100. 
for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with some cloud cover around. Still a slight chance for storms on Saturday in the mountains. But, boys, we go through the weekend. I think you'll notice the temperatures rising. And I have 101 for my high on Sunday. There's a chance it could get hotter than that on Ooh. Sunday as the core of that heat builds on in. Um, I looked ahead long range forecast, and there's little waves of energy from Canada that try to move in. And if they do, they keep the temperature down a little. And that may happen a little bit next week as well. So, some relief. A little bit. It's staying above 90, though. <laughs> the president is nearly doubling the amount of money he's requesting from Congress to help in the battle over the border. That story up next.